both having already seasons to remember. But each of them will be hoping that the best memories are yet to be made. Diani is central. Oh, it could be a chance here for Diani, who's made the room for the shots and tried to prod it towards goal. And it was Jansen who got in the way of it. First sight of goal, though, for Diani in that position for Wolfsburg in this competition this season. Wiedemeyer is another option at right back. This is Jackie Grunen, summer signing from Manchester United. Kashawi with the early cross in towards Diani. He got it down well, but the shot rather straight at front. Got a rest at the weekend, Diani wasn't involved in the French Cup semi. Jackie Grunen. Oh, given away here, and Payo. They are made a saving the blushes of her goalkeeper, Buadi. Really important block that by the French international centre back. Who has opened the door to a potential return to the French national side. Saying that she's willing to speak to the new coach, Kashawi. Remember that should be. Grunen with the interception. Kashawi. Now they move it more quickly. Diani with the shot. Kashawi. Diani. Amrawi looks to take it on. This is Batman. Amrawi detailed to keep an eye on Pop. He's such a threat in these sort of situations. Pop looking to make a move. And it was headed wide by Hegerink. German international of vast experience. Hegerink playing in the heart of that Wolfsburg defence tonight. Just kept in by Pop. The back heel finds Payor, but PSG just edging it in terms of the possession. Jill Ruled is in the box. This is Gras Guerrero. Rather bounced off Diani. Baltimore, Lawrence, Rauch couldn't win it back. Paris won 3-2 over two legs in the 2015 semi-finals. Won the first leg 2-0 in Germany, a game in which Amraoui was sent off. PSG, of course, went on to lose to Frankfurt in the final. Rauch. Up it goes here towards Hendrik. And the ball in towards Lapvine. This is Hoot. Well, this weekend sees the launch of PFL Europe, which kicks off in Newcastle on Saturday. You can see all the action live on the zone in the UK and across much of Europe and Asia. Here's Batman. And still Batman. It's a great run and a good save by Froats. Really good direct running here by Batman. Just what PSG need. The angle was always working against her in the end. Hegering had to be really careful. She didn't bring her down there. Baltimore then to take the corner. There's plenty to aim at in there. Cleared by Jill Ward. Sent back in by Grunen. Amraoui able to bring it down. Lawrence with the cross. Baltimore, good pressure here from Paris Saint-Germain. Over towards Diani. It's a good chance that. And she knows she should have done better with it. On side two. And a player who's been in such good form. Final 10 minutes then of this first half. Hagerink. Dominic Jansen. 
possibility that Janssen could face the former side Arsenal in the semi-finals should both sides get through. Again, there's a goal down from the first leg against Bayern. They are made of being spoken to here and shed a yellow card for dissent by Rebecca Welsh. So nothing to separate the sides at half-time in Paris, and if we're honest, a distinct lack of goal-scoring opportunities thus far. Batman. Lawrence. Nice feet by Baltimore. Space out wide for Karshawi. Chance to run at Hendrick. Gets away from Hoot. And they're still checking this. And the advice from Darren England is for the referee to go and have a look at this. It's a strange movement of the leg, really, but there is contact with the knee. A big part in the thinking here of the referee. Well, she's had a good long look at that and decided to disallow it. Janssen and Hegering both forward, it's over towards Pop, and Oberdorf got ahead on it, and they're saying there was a hand involved there, I think it's just Oberdorf suggesting that to the referee. We'll be getting checked by Darren England, the VAR official. Let's have another look at it, it's Oberdorf with the header, and the it does strike the hand. Penalty! And there's going to be a yellow card here as well, which will mean a red card. She's off. Booked in the first half for descent. And now shown a second yellow for the handball. And De Almeida is sent off here. It's Dominic Janssen with the chance to put Wolfsburg in front. From the spot, up against an eight-time winner of this competition, Buadi. It's a pressure penalty. It's Janssen for Wolfsburg. It's scored confidently. Left the goalkeeper with no chance. Such a well-taken spot kick to put the German side in front. So calm there, wasn't she? Janssen. Should be a big miss for the second leg as well. De Almeida, they're already without Dudet, remember, through injury. Gras Guerrero doing a job at centre-back, but isn't a centre-half by trade. We'd normally see her in central midfield. Tried the pass for Amraoui. I guess he was there again. Jons Dottier. They really do have a good blend of promising young talents. Advantage, Wolfsburg. They will take a first leg lead back to Germany.